Uh, I do want to say, uh, I want to thank you all for joining us here today to honor Dr. Martin Luther King, who was a pioneer before his time. Uh, and we always praise and honor people when they're gone. But Dr. King faced a lot of adversity, a lot of criticism, a lot of ridicule that even led to his death of a homicide. And so I always say in the words of Dr. Martin Luther King that bad things happen when good, do, when good people do nothing. And so we are the good people. I stand as the councilman representing the Great Ward 8 right now in Southeast Washington, D.C. And we have a mighty work ahead. That's right. We have a mighty work. When I say a mighty work, you say ahead. We have a mighty work. Hey. Anytime that we see just in the last two weeks that we are tearing down homeless tents in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. We have a mighty work. Hey. We have a mighty work. Hey. I read the article of one of the homeless victims. And he said, you guys have keys to a house and a bed to sleep in. Mm. And this is all I have. And yet you took this away from me. Mm. If my heart wasn't pricked, if your heart wasn't pricked, and if a tear didn't shed, then we are inhumane. We have a $15.5 billion budget. Yet last year, in World Aid, the budget was cut by $10.4 million with a billion dollar increase. Mm. And so I had to write legislation, fight two for nails to get the money put back in the budget. We have work. Amen. We have work. Amen. And so I'm committed. I learned a long time ago, you can't conquer anything that you're not committed to. I'm honored to, to serve in this community. It's not an easy task. Nope. Anytime on Dr. Martin Luther King Avenue last Friday, we had another young man victim of gunshot wounds intersecting Malcolm X Avenue. What's the irony in that? And in 2020, we're still preaching the same message, that we need safety in our room. If you're a violence interrupter, let me see your hand. If you're a violence interrupter, credible messenger, on the front line advocating and fighting for justice and equality and safety for our community, give these young men and young ladies a round of applause yeah. for laying their life down every day. It's not an easy change. And we need more. See, when I came into City Hall advocating for youth violence prevention, you know what the narrative was? That crime was down. In the words of Philip Pennell, yeah, crime is down. Down the street, yeah. around the corner, right. at our schools, right. in our hallways, right. in our communities. Yeah. And so we fought two for nails to get money put in the budget when it wasn't popular. Zero dollars in the budget. I had to call the chairman. I said, chairman, we cannot go another year not putting money in violence prevention. And so we got $750,000, which is a drop in the bucket. Right. And so we fought again the next year, and we got $3 million. And so I fought again the next year, and we got almost $10 million to help with council members like Kenya McDuffie, Attorney General Carver, Carver Singh, even Mary Mary Bowser put some money in the pot. And so bad things happen when good people do nothing. We got work. Amen. We got work. Amen. And so it's our time. As the council member representing this great ward, I know that this is, uh, we have to debunk the status quo right. because the price of living is not going down. No. And so I'm fighting to not just talk about affordable housing, but equity in housing. That's right. We had a budget of $100 million a year for at least the last seven years. You do that, how much is that? $700 million for affordable housing. And the number's not adding up. When I begin to analyze it, and scrutinize what the money been, was being spent. 44% right. of the money went to people earning between $80,000 and $110,000 a year. That's right, teach, bro. That's not the people who need deep down affordable housing, is it? No. no. And so we have a mighty work. Hey. And I can't do it alone. You won't. In our education system, the gap for black boys has been widening for the last five years. Yet we, we preach the narrative that we are the fastest growing city when it comes to education. And then I go to the middle schools, it's out of control. When I see the violence in the mind, you had over 35 youth shot east of Anacostia River last year. And we still get on the mic and on TV saying that crime is down. We have a mighty work. Amen. We have a mighty work. Amen. We have a mighty work. Amen. I remember an old interview that Malcolm was giving. He was on a TV interview. And Malcolm was saying, we are not ready to pay the price of freedom. And, and he put his head down. He said, the interviewer, he said, hey, what's the price of freedom, Malcolm? 
he ain't say nothing. He asked him again. He said, Malcolm, what's the price of freedom? And Malcolm said, the price of freedom is death. Mm -hmm. Dr. King said, if you haven't found something worth living for, you can't find something worth dying for. This is a work of all of us. That's right. Everybody has a role to play. Amen. From those who five years old, 25, 45, to 55, to 105. That's right. See, the heart don't do what the leg do. The head don't do what the heart do. The finger don't do what the toe do. And if we all find our gifts and talents and abilities in our community, we can make this community better than we, we found it. Right. You all agree? Yeah. We have a mighty work. Amen. We have a mighty work. Amen. As I reflected on this holiday season and the cold outside I woke up, when I woke up this morning and I, and I began to get dressed, you know what I found my courage and strength? I found it in our ancestors That's right. who walked across miles and miles of state lines That's right. in the cold, Amen. in the heat, That's in right. dress shoes. That's That's right. Right. They had cohons back then. Yeah. <laughs> they had them hard, hard bottles, <laughs> curling bags across state lines. So it's an honor. Say honor. honor. It's an honor. Say honor. honor. It's an honor for us to wake up That's right. in our health, That's right. in our right minds, you know to walk a mile. Man. For those ancestors Amen. That's right. and those in our families That's right. who paid the way for us to get here today. That's right. Because someone's not supposed to be here. Preach. Someone's supposed to be somewhere else struggling. Right. Someone's supposed to be still incarcerated. Someone's supposed to be just coming home. That's and right. someone's supposed to have our picture on the t-shirt. That's right. But God. That's right. God takes the foolish things of the world. Hallelujah. The shame the wise. That's right. He'll take somebody that everybody thinks to throw away and fix you up and make you look like something. I know because I'm a witness. Anybody is a witness in the house tonight? Yeah. Today? Right. Can I get a witness in the house today? Yeah. You know good and well. You was a hot mess. Right. Hot mess. Everybody around you ain't want to be around you because your attitude stinks. Right. <laughs> You're a rabble rouser. But God will fix you up. Yes, he will. Do you know that we're in a community right now? That's right. And nobody coming to save us but us. That's right. Ain't nobody coming. That's right. There's no special operators coming. We can't wait for the police department to do it. We can't wait for a council member to do it. We can't wait for a mayor to do it. Ain't nobody coming to save us but us. That's right. Amen. Teach, brother. I had to speak at a service yesterday on, on, on service. Mm. And I realized a quote from a book I read called As a Man Thinker. That's right. He said, people all over the world want to change their circumstances, mm -hmm. but are unwilling to change themselves. Yeah. Are you willing to change yourself? Yeah. If you want to make your community better, you yeah. know where it started? Yeah. It started with me. Say me. me. We got a mighty work. Amen. We got a mighty work. Amen. We got a mighty work ahead, you guys. That's right. As, a, as a leader on the front line, I'm going to take a lot of shots. That's right. I'm going to take a lot of criticism. I'm going to take a lot of blows. Yeah. But knowing that I got you guys behind me That's right. makes it all more worth it. That's right. Makes it all 